I am of certain convinced that the greatest heroes are those who do their duty in the daily grind of domestic affairs whilst the world whirls as a maddening dreidel. I attribute my success to this, I never gave or took any excuse. Rather, ten times, die in the surf, heralding the way to a new world, then stand idly on the shore. You ask me why I do not write something. I think one's feelings waste themselves in words, they ought all to be distilled into actions and into actions which bring results. The very first requirement in a hospital is that it should do the sick no harm. Live life when you have it. Life is a splendid gift there is nothing small about it. Let whoever is in charge keep this simple question in her head, not, how can I always do this right thing myself, but, how can I provide for this right thing to be always done? Were there none who were discontented with what they have, the world would never reach anything better. To understand God's thoughts we must study statistics, for these are the measure of His purpose. Nursing is a progressive art such that to stand still is to go backwards. Nature alone cures, what nursing has to do, is to put the patient in the best condition for nature to act upon him. Woman has nothing but her affections, and this makes her at once more loving and less loved. So never lose an opportunity of urging a practical beginning, however small, for it is wonderful how often in such matters the mustard seed germinates and roots itself. It may seem a strange principle to enunciate as the very first requirement in a hospital that it should do the sick no harm. It is quite necessary nevertheless to lay down such a principle. Unless we are making progress in our nursing every year, every month, every week, take my word for it we are going back. What cruel mistakes are sometimes made by benevolent men and women in matters of business about which they can know nothing and think they know a great deal? Apprehension, uncertainty, waiting, expectation, fear of surprise, do a patient more harm than any exertion. The most important practical lesson that can be given to nurses is to teach them what to observe. Nursing is an art, and if it is to be made an art, it requires an exclusive devotion as hard a preparation as any painter's or sculptor's work. Let us never consider ourselves finished nurses, we must be learning all of our lives. Jesus Christ raised women above the condition of mere slaves, mere ministers to the passions of the man, raised them by his sympathy, to be ministers of God. Life is a hard fight, a struggle, a wrestling with the principle of evil, hand to hand, foot to foot. Every inch of the way is disputed. The night is given us to take breath, to pray, to drink deep at the fountain of power. The day, to use the strength which has been given us to go forth to work with it till the evening. Our first journey is to find that special place for us. Nursing is an art, and if it is to be made an art, it requires an exclusive devotion as hard a preparation as any painter's or sculptor's work. May we hope that, when we are all dead and gone, leaders will arise who have been personally experienced in the hard, practical work, the difficulties, and the joys of organizing nursing reforms, and who will lead far beyond anything we have done. Sick children, if not too shy to speak, will always express this wish. They invariably prefer a story to be told to them, rather than read to them.
A human being does not cease to exist at death. It is change, not destruction, which takes place. That religion is not devotion, but work and suffering for the love of God, this is the true doctrine of mystics. The martyrs sacrifices themselves entirely in vain, or rather not in vain, for they make the selfish more selfish, the lazy more lazy, the narrow narrower. Live your life while you have it. Life is a splendid gift. There is nothing small in it. Far the greatest things grow by God's law out of the smallest. But to live your life, you must discipline it. If I could give you information of my life, it would be to show how a woman of very ordinary ability has been led by God in strange and unaccustomed paths to do in his service what he has done in her. And if I could tell you all, you would see how God has done all, and I nothing. The family uses people, not for what they are, nor for what they are intended to be, but for what it wants them for its own uses. It thinks of them not as what God has made them, but as the something which it has arranged that they shall be. A hundred struggle and drown in the breakers. One discovers the new world. But rather, ten times rather, die in the surf, heralding the weight of that new world, than stand idly on the shore. I have learned to know God. I have recast my social belief. All my admirers are married, most of my friends are dead, and I stand with all the world before me, where to choose a path to make in it. The world is put back by the death of everyone who has to sacrifice the development of his or her peculiar gifts to conventionality. Never speak to an invalid from behind, nor from the door, nor from any distance from him, nor when he is doing anything. The official politeness of servants in these things is so grateful to invalids, that many prefer, without knowing why, having none but servants about them. Hospitals are only an intermediate stage of civilization, never intended, to take in the whole sick population. May we hope that the day will come, when every poor sick person will have the opportunity of a share in a district sick nurse at home. People talk about imitating Christ, and imitate him in little trifling formal things, such as washing the feet, saying his prayer, and so on, but if anyone attempts the real imitation of him, there are no bounds to the outcry with which the presumption of that person is condemned. The account he gives of nurses beats everything that even I know of. This young prophet says that they are all drunkards, without exception, sisters and all and that there are but two whom the surgeon can trust to give the patients their medicines. People say the effect is only on the mind. It is no such thing. The effect is on the body, too. Little as we know about the way in which we are affected by form, by color, and light, we do know this, that they have an actual physical effect. Variety of form and brilliancy of color in the objects presented to patients, are actual means of recovery. The kingdom of heaven is within, indeed, but we must also create one without, because we are intended to act upon our circumstances. Do not meet or overtake a patient who is moving about in order to speak to him or to give him any message or letter. You might just as well give him a box on the ear. I have seen a patient fall flat on the ground who was standing when his nurse came into the room. I attribute my success to this, I never gave or took any excuse. Statistics is the most important science in the whole world, for upon it depends the practical application of every other science and of every art, the one science essential to all political and social administration, all education, all organization based on experience, for it only gives results of our experience. Wise and humane management of the patient is the best safeguard against infection.